Hey guys, today I want to talk about how you can um, easily change the settings that are related to async level streaming. If you don't know how to use it, how to use level streaming, async level streaming, uh, you can do it easily by going to window and um, just use a tab of levels and add add your levels to the uh, to under the persistent level. Just a disclaimer: this is different than uh, this node. So if you want to use level streaming, don't you use this node? This is not the way to do it. Uh, it's mostly stream. Yeah. Yeah, you can, if you just go ahead and type stream, you get a lot of nodes for it. Just you can, you can use uh, load and unload and you can do a lot of stuff with it. So um, to change the variables for async level streaming, because you know, when you are loading the level, it stutters and most of the times they're starting so bad. So if you want to get everything so smoothly to the point that the player even wouldn't even notice what's happening under the hood, what you can do is to just go to the edit, project settings, and under the tab of engine, streaming. So make sure to check this one out. It's checked by default, but you can just go ahead and uh, control it for yourself. Um, the first thing that you notice here is that the values are different than your values. So these are not the default values. With the default values, you'll get some stutter. And as I told you, most of the times, the stuttering is so bad. So uh, what this does is that how much of resources, of time specifically, you want to dedicate to async loading. Uh, if you want the async to be sometimes faster, but heavier you can just go ahead and put this to i don't know something like maybe 10 or 15 uh or the default value i, I can't remember what the default value was but what i did at the moment was that to limit this all to limit it a lot so instead so for example you have this level here and you want to stream another level here you you uh you put a box a collision box here uh, and when the player gets into the collision box, the next level will be loaded. Instead, I would put the collision box here a little bit far from the actual level and give it a little bit time to load everything because I'm limiting the resources. But instead, the player wouldn't even notice there's a loading behind the scenes under the hood. And that smooth smooths everything out i would say perfectly so just go ahead and limit things um i would say these settings is not bad but just go ahead and play around with all the values you see here for yourself just test them test them uh and see what are the needs for you specifically for your map because sometimes the map's really big and it takes a lot of time for the uh, for the machine to load everything, and then when the player when the player catches the uh, gets to the point where the map should be loaded, the map's not there, and the player can easily go uh, into the falling mode, into the void. So to stop something from like this happen, um, just go ahead and play around with this value. Maybe put this to two, two, two. I don't know to ten. Yeah, it's it's completely up to you. Uh, and yeah, this is it. This is all the values you need to change. Uh, you don't need any kind of coding because it's all um, hard coded for you. It, these are all the values. These are e everything that you need to actually change. Um, and yeah, that's it. I hope it helps. And if this video helps you, please like, hit that like button. If you, and if you do like what I create, what the tutorials I make, what the, I mean, I, I always try to, when I find a fix for my problem, I always try to share that fix with others because, you know, this is how a community grows. Uh, and if you do like what I create here, please hit that subscribe button as well. And if you have any questions or anything like that, please use that comment section. Thank you.